do some dope shit. So, I'm gonna show y'all what I did. Um, uh, so, I'm using, uh, I'm using 3G uh, Jet Black Opaque um, heat transfer paper. And I'm gonna make, I'm gonna do a print and cut on the shirt. Um, my brand, I got a brand called Pitch Black World. This is not really shit. I'm just showing y'all how dope shit could get. Um, and if I get enough comments, I will release this design. All right, so I'm just gonna put it back. I'm gonna put that one back. All right. Um, now, we're gonna add our registration marks. What do you have, what do you have? Boom. I know I'm wasting paper, so yeah, I probably should put another one. Um, all right, we're gonna do it again. Now, I like the, the way that it is. But you know what I could do? I could change the paper the way that it is. It's a landscape, all right? So I just took that one off of there completely, and it's not on there. Now, I'm gonna copy it. Move this out the way. Turn it out one. I'm gonna do another one. I'm gonna put that one. Nah, matter of fact, I'm gonna copy this one. Uh, right here. I'm uh, I'm gonna have to take this off. See, the way some of studio work, once you fuck up, you can't do shit. So, all right, peace. That's that one. Turn the registration mark on. We got one. See, so a studio will fuck your cut up. If you don't know what I mean, like, you can't move it. Once you move it, you kind of set it. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna go to the drop down menu. Offset. All right, I'll set it at um, 0 0.09, uh, excuse me. 0 0.09, and now I'm gonna add uh, the uh, planet back. Uh, this one. All right, so I'm copying it. And I'm going to put some untitled page. All right, paste. Okay, now. I might make this a little bit smaller, just a little bit, not much. I'll just take it down to make it 10. All right, so that's a little bit better because I know I got these registration parameters and I'm gonna offset it too. All right, now let's offset. This on the hat or that on the hat. I think this looks better on the hat to me personally. So what I'm about to do now I'm about to copy this. I'm gonna put that back over there. I'm about to copy this. Copy. Shit, what the fuck is going on? Alright, let's see. Let's just hit peace. Alright, here we go. Alright, so excuse the bad language, y'all. Alright. You could you could do it a couple of ways. I'm just gonna reduce it by 33%. All right, that's gonna give me three. Boom, now I'm gonna offset this same way. But I'm gonna add some more shit to this to make this look so crazy fire. All right, so. Um, I'm gonna offset that. That's good. All right, I got old feet for ready to print. Um, is there anything else I want to add on my head? Um, nah, it's nothing else that I want to add on my head. I got crazy designs for my brand, but I think I just want to see this on a shirt that. Um, 
I could give away. Um, I might even give this away. All right, so let's print it. Not for the moment, just check everything. Do a print preview. All right, so let's go in here. With the thing that I gotta do, I do gotta change the paper size because it's bigger. Let's see. Um, there it goes. 11 by 17. Uh, we want, we want photo paper. Uh, we're gonna do a borderless and oh shit, so this way I gotta be checking. And uh, type of paper. This is a transparency. Uh, so we're gonna put it on photo paper. So we're gonna put it on. Semi glossy paper. Um, matter of fact, that's matte. So we're gonna put that black one in matte. Because that ain't the semi glossy, it's, it's matte. But when you print it, it's gonna be vibrant. Um, let's see. You have to tell me that I'm mad blind without my shades on, on my specs, but I don't rock them. I'm not gonna rock them in the video. Mr. Clean Wipes will get your Mac clean and plus it'll make it stickier. No residue. Okay. Let me this out the way. Bring the transparency all the way up. Because that's what we want. Now you can hit trace out of edge. Send. Now you gotta be careful. Because when you do this, see this, this box right here? If you ain't, if you ain't know the line segment, so you gotta go to line right here, and then you click that, and that's just gonna trace the outside. So that when you do the offset, it offsets. All right, now, we only wanted to cut, we don't need a lot of force on this. So I say, yeah, we do 16. Um, let's say you're not a fancy person. You don't do all that designing and shit, but you want to start a t-shirt business, you could do it. All right, now, you just got to send it. Remember, send as is. is gonna come off itself. So they gotta do nothing. And basically, it's like a piece of vinyl. You know what I mean? That's a little bit better than vinyl, to be honest. All right, we have the heat crush. This is about a canvas zip up. I got a Teflon cover. Okay. Um, I'm gonna pre-press. I'm gonna press that bad boy for like, Eight seconds. All right, that's eight. Nice and warm. Looking for my best friend. Lint brush. Lint brush. All right. Next thing I'm gonna get is the logo tool. All right, so boom. Here goes the chest. We're gonna pull it down a little bit. And we're gonna hit it again because to use the tool right. I don't even need it, but I'm gonna show you. All right, so got this line right here. This is your center. Boom, it's right here. And lines up with the zipper. Bam. All right, so here goes the line. You take off, take it off carefully. All right. So me personally, I already know where I want it. I want it about here. Boom, move that out the way. And if this was from the top, your three fingers down, 
All right, we're gonna, we're supposed to press this for 30 seconds at 350. I got mine at like 325, cause you always gotta know that these heat press, we have a little extra temperature, maybe 20, 15 degrees. So I know that by using it, and it doesn't make me mad. People that be talking a lot of shit that be buying mad fancy presses, all right, get the fancy press. Why complain? Why piss them on about a cheap press? People do that though. But we not here to do that. We about to show y'all. And then we gonna hit it one more time for the finishing press. Nice and smooth. Yeah, man, I love it. Looking good. Uh, looking fantastic. Now I'm just looking for, all right, so it comes with a sheet like this. This is like the parchment. And that's what you're supposed to press it with. That boom. All right. Do it for like five, five to ten seconds, so it could be in the shirt. Boom. This bad boy, anyway. This thing is cool too. Pull it up. Woo! That should be like a transfer. It don't even look like. I put the paper there. We about to. Hit the back. We kind of got to figure out the back a little bit, but we still got to pre-press it. What about trusty? We don't want to press no paper in. All right, now I got a different trick for how I'm gonna do the back. I'm um, five with this side, five inches, and I need to be five on that side. All right. Now from the from the hoodie, that's the important thing. You want to go. You already know that it's so. I'm gonna go seven inches down. See what the hood for? I mean, I could go about there, and I'm gonna measure. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. And then we're gonna press it again. And it's gonna be in there. I'm still gonna do a hat too. Came out great. Now I'm gonna use this good old paper. And hit it again just to seal it, lock it in. Heat press I'm using is Fancy Studio at like 200 on Amazon. Alright, final press. Alright, here goes the back of the hoodie. I'm going to show you the left chest hit next, and the links will be in the description for the stuff that I used. It's gonna be a lot easier. Shit. So I hat. I'm just gonna peel it off. All right, we have the hat press. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let roll and tape. Let roll. Pre-press first too. Cause hats are different. Boom. Give it a pre-press. That. A little like that. I'm not even clamping it down. I'm just gonna hold it. Put my little Teflon I made for my hats. Okay. Could use a silicone pad if you thought that it was gonna be too much. 285. Because I already know this joint getting mad. You gotta learn what works. All right, let's see what kind of results we got. Looks like he's stuck nice. Oh man, a little bit of bubbling. Shit, so not so much you could do about that. The bubbling came from the Teflon paper because it was wrinkled. 